This week, Lab TV travels to Perry Hall, Maryland, where students are gathering to show off their talents in a tournament of math. Today is the math competition. competition. Yeah. We've been working all year to practice for it, to get ready. But and then no pressure, which is nice. Yeah. Welcome to Math Counts, a nationwide middle school math program that's fun and it's free. You can get cool t-shirts and buttons and win trophies and trips. But the best part is making friends while you're getting good at math. We're having fun, like, you know, doing a lot of math problems, but it's like for fun. We're doing math to win trophies and go to more math contests. Um, it's a way to practice math and like keep enhance going. your skills too. Yeah. Like to take it to a further fun. level. It's also fun, definitely, to meet new people and hang out. Yeah. Teams from 26 schools are here today, and the top six will go on to the state competition. That's six out of 26, or about 23%. For these kids, math is a sport. They even call themselves mathletes. It's a combination of math and athlete. <laughs> it's pretty funny. <laughs> Starting in the fall, mathletes and their coaches meet once a week to learn to tackle tough problems. And each February, there are over 500 local competitions, just like this one. You may begin now. It may look hard, but there's no pressure or grades, so it doesn't really matter if you make mistakes. For math counts, you never have to study. It's like you just have fun with math. You don't, it like, even if you get the answer wrong, nobody makes fun of you or anything. But you can learn lots of ways to get those answers right. And most stuff, it's like only one way to get an answer, but in math, you can get an answer like 20 different ways. Let's try three, so it will be six to the fourth minus six to the third. Got it. That's it. Math counts is also a team sport, and each team has their own strategy. One person did the first problem and worked up, and then I sold it at the end and worked backwards. And then I had one person do the odds and one person do the even numbered problems. Well, we kind of work out the problems that we're good at. So if someone like good at fractions or angles or anything like that, we say, okay, well, can you do these problems? And everybody picks a problem and they try it. And when they get the answer, they switch. So everybody checks everybody else's problems. But whatever red is times blue equals the percentage of green. Working together helps these kids figure out ways to cut math problems down to size. Math is like a puzzle. Puzzles are fun. It's like you got to put the pieces together until it works. In scary problems, you can tackle like one step at a time and just take it apart. It really doesn't seem that hard once you do it that way. Yeah, yeah. it's just numbers, so it's not like they're going to come out and bite you or anything. So. <laughs> After the sprint, target, and team rounds, the top mathletes compete head-to-head -head in the countdown round. is correct. What is the sum of distinct prime factors of 315? You have 31 seconds. 15. 15 is correct. And here is today's winning math meet. She's going on to the state and maybe even the national math counts competition. To find out more about math counts and other cool math programs, check out labtvonline.org.